The Trump Effect, a market roller coaster from shock victory to bull run. In November 2016, Donald Trump's unexpected win over Hillary Clinton in the US presidential election shocked the world. This wasn't just a political upset, it was a seismic event that sent shockwaves through the global markets. Before the election, Trump was far behind Clinton in the polls. However, on election day, his supporters came out in large numbers, leading to one of the biggest political surprises in US history. As Trump prospects surged late into the night, financial markets braced for impact. Volatility skyrocketed. Gold prices whipsawed, swinging by $69 per ounce, while equity markets took an initial nosedive. But then, in a dramatic rebound, the S&P 500 surged by 30 points on November 9th, boosting the market's capitalization of the index by a staggering $200 billion. This was just a prologue to an ensuing bull market, especially for big tech companies. During Trump's time in office, the S&P 500 index had increased its market capitalization by over $10 trillion. Some could call him the Trillion Dollar Man. The winners and losers, Trump's stamp on the market sectors. Trump's time as president was known for being business friendly. He cut taxes and encouraged American companies to manufacture more in the US, fostering a robust domestic business environment. We looked at what the market did during Trump's presidency, from his surprising win to when he lost to Biden in 2020. We focused specifically on two periods, before COVID-19, the November 8, 2016 to December 31st, 2019 period, and the total return from November 2016 through November 2020. The period before the pandemic is particularly telling, offering a glimpse into the direct impact of Trump's policies on various asset classes, unaffected by the global turmoil of COVID-19 and subsequent stimulus measures. This is the chart you're looking at right now is the asset class returns during his presidency. Notably, commodities thrived in the pre-pandemic Trump era. We are not saying he will, nor are we positioning our portfolios as he will win, but rather stating which sectors could benefit from a Trump 2.0 administration. Drilling down deeper, we can look at the equity returns by sector. That's what this chart is, is the specific sector returns during his entire presidency is that green and the pre-COVID is in the blue. Relative to other commodities, gold miners fared the best by a considerable margin. Energy stocks were the worst, with raw material producers such as steel and copper breaking even. Trumponomics 2025, a new era in American economic policy. As we venture into 2025, the economic landscape under Trump's potential second term presents a blend of familiar strategies and bold new policies. Trump's first term was marked by a focus on boosting the U.S. economy through stock market performance, reshoring American jobs and lowering corporate taxes. His approach, characterized by tough trade terms and tariffs, increased U.S. GDP growth rates above the 20-year average. That's the chart you're looking at right now is the quarterly gross domestic product growth rate, the GDP year over year. Breaking down key areas for investors, monetary policy and the Fed. Trump's relationship with the Federal Reserve has been tumultuous to say the least. His first term saw interest rates rise from 0.5% to 2.5%, it's a five-fold increase amidst his vocal criticism of the Fed's reluctance to cut rates. With Jerome Powell signaling a potential decline in rates in late 2024, and Trump's intention not to reappoint Powell in 2026, a shift towards more business-friendly, low-interest policies seems imminent. Trade and tariffs. Doubling down on his America First agenda, Trump plans to implement a system of tariffs on most foreign goods with penalties for unfair trading practices. His focus is particularly sharp on China, proposing a four-year plan to phase out Chinese imports in key sectors and pushing for decoupling of the world's two largest economies. This hawkish stance finds support in Congress, signaling a potential reshaping of the global trade dynamics. Energy policy. Trump's energy policy revolves around achieving the lowest cost energy and electricity. His plan includes ramping up oil drilling, offering tax breaks to fossil fuel producers, and investing in natural gas infrastructure. Contrasting with Biden's policies, Trump's approach favors traditional energy sources, fossil fuels, over renewable ones. Climate and environmental policies. Rejecting Biden's climate policies, Trump is likely to rescind energy regulations and exit the Paris Climate Accords again. His version of a CBAM, a carbon border adjusted mechanism, 
could be a strategic move against China, aligning with his broader trade and protectionist policies. This is a key weapon in his arsenal that we do believe he's going to use. Taxation and the economy. Trump's tax policy is expected to maintain the status quo with a focus on sustaining corporate profits and personal net incomes. His administration's approach to taxation is likely to continue benefiting wealthy households and small business owners. Trump's second term could very well usher in another massive vote of confidence in many business sectors as shown above in the charts. Bullish for commodities, bullish for tech, bullish for businesses and energy, Trump could be attracting voters fed up with rising inflation. On the other side, Trump will attract a lot of negative attention should he win again. Our job is to cut through the headlines and noise and focus on the data. We broke down our entire KRO portfolio into asset classes and sectors to forecast what a potential Trump 2.0 would mean to the portfolio. And we'll do the same for Biden or his replacement in March KRO issue. Stay safe and click for the report to do your portfolio a favor. Subscribe to the KRO, which is a Katusa Resource Opportunities, to find out exactly what prices I'm buying at and what price I sell at before the trade occurs. And you get to sell before I do. If you want to give your portfolio an edge, consider becoming a member and giving it a try for yourself.